My name is Greg Allen Cornett, the name I go by. I, uh, been doing it for about seven years, since like 2016. I, I, quit, I quit and then come back a lot, so if you condense that, it's probably more like four years. But yeah, I've been doing this for entirely too long, I would say. What got you into comedy? It's just always something I enjoyed. I remember as a kid, I would watch a lot of Comedy Central, and I would tell my parents, I want to be a comedian when I grow up. No parent is, is thrilled to hear that, I don't think. But I don't know, it's just something I always had an interest in, and at one point, I just, you know, decided, you know, what the hell, and try it. I did that at Comedy on Broadway, got a lot of laughs. If I had bombed the first time, I probably never would have done it again. But I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm actually funny, apparently. And I just kind of kept doing it. And like I said, I quit sometimes because it, it gets frustrating when you're not successful. But I kind of enjoy it as a hobby, pretty much is how I look at it. More than a career at this point. <laughs> How do you turn a funny thought into a joke? I don't really like sit down and write. Like I'm not, I don't really work that way. Like a lot of comedians say, okay, I'm gonna sit down for an hour and write jokes. Like I, I just kind of uh, think of stuff spontaneously. Um, I used to carry around a notebook and when I wrote out a funny thought, I would write it down and a lot of that, a lot of that became material. But I just kind of, I mean, some of it's just stuff that happens to me, true stories that I can kind of turn into a joke. But a lot of it, I don't really consciously do it. It's just, something that comes naturally, I think. Is there anything you won't joke about? Not really. Uh, there's some stuff I avoid just because it's controversial, like, I don't know, racist things and, and things like that, maybe. I don't know, I don't really feel like anything's off limits when if, if it can be funny. So I don't really censor myself a lot, I kind of... But yeah, you kind of have to be careful, you can get canceled pretty easily these days. Tell me about the worst time you ever bombed. Probably one was at the, it was at the High Horse Bar in Louisville. A while back I told some, uh, a joke about saying the N-word. And I, I didn't actually say the N-word, just to be clear, in this, in this material. You know, I've done well with this joke before, it's kind of an older one. But that night, the crowd was just not feeling it at all. No laughs throughout the whole thing. Uh, a bunch of people left, and, and yeah, I've, I've not been back there since then. But yeah, that was just a terrible experience, kind of made me. But yeah, I'm not doing that material again. <laughs> if you were to give uh, a brand new starting comedian, just getting started in the open mic scene, a piece of advice, what would it be? Mm, don't. Do something else with your life. Learn a trade. I don't know, just, um, I guess just do what you enjoy and what feels true to you and have fun. Don't feel like you have to emulate anyone else or, you know, I think it's, it's comedy's best when it's free and, and just open and honest. So just be true to yourself. You now don't try to follow trends or, you know, this is what's popular now. I'm going to try and, you know, get it. Just do what you think is funny. And, and you can make that be funny to other people.